Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, 47-year-old Ver executed in front of her 11-year-old daughter in St. Mary, one in custody after a 10 million drug bust in Portland, shootout in Papine claiming the life of a man, five killed in major accidents in St. Elizabeth, and two prisoners escape and on the run. One person has been taken into custody in connection with Thursday evening 10 million bust in Portland. One man escaped in the area, but police are leading an investigation with the expectation of making more arrests. The bust has been hailed as a major blow to the illicit drugs for gun trade. During a target raid, two houses in the community of Belcastle, the police seized 2,000 pounds of compressed ganja. Two dwelling houses surged, and in one house, 20 plastic bags containing knitting bags filled with particles of compressed ganja were found inside. One man exited the house and ran on approach of the police and made a good escape. The other house had 33 black plastic bags filled with parcels of compressed Commanding officer of Portland Division, Superintendent Kenneth Chin, told the media on Friday the seizure represents over 260 parcels of which were packed for export. The raids took place between 3.45 p.m. and 7 p.m. on Thursday. Our intelligence suggested that the seizure will cause another major dent in the guns for trade as we had a similar seizure of over 3,300 pounds in May of this year. He commanded lawmen from Portland and two era narcotics division for going beyond and above the call of duty in executing this operation, adding that every effort will be made to continue to target the criminals in and around the area. A major accident was reported yesterday in Downs, the border of St. Elizabeth and Manchester. Further reports suggested that they were speeding and collided with another car coming in the opposite direction. Five persons were found lifeless. Some pictures of the scene are available. If you are interested in seeing them, just follow the normal procedure. Go on down in the description and click on the link and join the group. The St. Andrews South Police are continuing a man on for two prisoners who escaped from the Unce Bay Police lockup on Thursday, August 5. The escapees are 30-year-old Roland Scully of St. Andrew and 26-year-old Glenoy Myri of Olympic Way, St. Andrew. The men were discovered missing from the facility about 10.37 p.m. during a routine check. The police said investigations indicated that the men escaped through a hole in the perimeter fence at the rear of the lockup. Scully and Mary were recently convicted of illegal possession of firearm and ammunition and were scheduled to sentence on September 16 and September 17 in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. A shootout was reported in Papine yesterday which claimed the life of a man the man in the background say about six in get his identity is not yet been released and the reason for the attack is currently unknown at this time but if you're interested in seeing the full unedited version of the video where the police are taking him out of the car and all of that just go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the chopper city telegram group just click on the link you automatically join the group and the video will be there waiting on you if you're interested for see the video but you don't know over in the description no need to worry just run on over to my instagram page at chop city tv that is c h o p c i t y underscore tv send me a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible an 11 year old saint mary girl has left traumatized after the shooting murder of her mother at their home in tanklin saint mary on thursday night 47-year-old Ver Bailey, a supervisor at the Bashka Trading Company, Ocheria St. Anne, was killed by gunmen around 9 p.m. It is reported that two men entered the community and asked for directions to her home. After getting information, the men then went to the house where Bailey and her daughter were alone. The men reportedly kicked the door open and ordered the daughter to put her head on the bed, after which they shot Bailey in the head. The men escaped on foot, taking the daughter's cell phone with them. Residents who heard the explosion went to the house where they saw the daughter hugging her wounded mother and crying uncontrollably. 
On Friday, the police reported that Bailey, who was rushed to the hospital, died while being prepared to be transferred to the Kingston Public Hospital. Meanwhile, Bailey Skilling left a number of persons, especially in St. Mary and St. Anne, where she worked in a state of shock. One relative, a female cousin of Bailey, described the killing as senseless. Your death was so senseless. You, Ver Bailey, were the sweetest, kindest person. I have never seen you angry. You have always had a smile. You loved your family so much and would do anything for anyone, the woman said. I am so very, very sad to hear that you were taken this way. I pray you will receive justice. Rest in eternal peace, my dear cousin, Ver Bailey. In all my years of living, I have never heard or seen anything like this. Them oddly a people in a night again, a baby model since of late. It even reached the extent now where them are going to somebody community where them plan for take them three points and I ask for directions to them house. You know, see them killers, you know what this beer face bad. You can only imagine how the person who get the direction feel the next morning when him or her ear say that really happened. Just imagine it. It is obvious that so them get clear instructions say that this lady alone is supposed to get hurt. This one does sound like some random kid. Some strong reason of a day behind it. People who don't remember say so nowadays people not only d for them own cause. I am saying that to say this. She ain't nobody not have to have nothing. I can somebody close to her and somebody have something, but she had the easiest one to get to, so them just use she for send a message. Yeah, man, it can be one of the key and catch Guaco catch him shot situation. And when you think you heard it all, just imagine how our daughter feel, our 11 year old daughter feel, for somebody come in, kick off them door, tell her, say, put on your head in the bed, and right after that, our mother gone and she have to live with that memory for the rest of her life but as the news stated them asked for directions for go to the ladies house right some just hope the residents them willing to step forward and give up some kind of information because them officer who oh, nobody now go walk up to you with mask on them face and the whole of them face cover up and the whole of them body cover up and them ask for directions to somebody else and you just take up the information and give them just like that? I don't think so. More than likely, after them get the directions and go one part in one corner, when them nearly reach, them put on their mask and all that. That are even if them put on a mask any at all. So somebody have to see, somebody have to know. People may have beg on you to step forward, give up the information so this 11 year old girl can get the justice what she deserve. This one sad, I can't lie about it. Viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down in the comment section. So nobody afraid to leave on the thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.